this is gene dive characteristics in this experiment we are going to calculate some new voltage in forward bias breakdown voltage in reverse bias see this is a power source just we need to connect the source to circuit next this is a zener diode this is a zener diode this black line gives n type and this is p type here this is negative terminal this is positive terminal we are going to connect this n type to the negative terminal so that means that this is connected in forward bias next you see here it's a milliammeter there is a ammeter and connect this ammeter in this place negative terminal to negative terminal positive terminal to positive terminal and here positive here positive this is voltmeter so this is connection is done so now we are going to find out what's a new voltage in forward bias for that we need to increase voltage across this diode and what is the current is obtained that we are going to see now so this so i'm going to increase so voltage of zener diode to say initially 0.1 and what is the current is obtained and zero and 0.2 what's the current obtained zero 0.3 what's the current obtained zero 0.4 current obtained is zero and 0.5 the current obtained is zero so because of here when we have discussed regarding this pn junction forward bias there is a depletion layer which provides negative potential so whatever voltage is given to this that negative potential opposes this so that's why we want to know it offers less resistance so that's why we want to get any current till certain value of voltage Let's increase this voltage slowly and you say 0.6 you say 0.6 we didn't get any current you increase to 0.66 or 0.67 you see we got the 0.1 milliamp current right and increase the voltage slowly and find out how much current is obtained and note down this given voltage and current obtained in the stabler column slowly you increase voltage till 0.8 0.8 you see how much current is obtained over here and plot a graph between voltage and current we will get a curve like this here this is current this is voltage we will get a curve like this and if you draw the tangent to that curve it meets voltage axis at certain value that value we call it as a new voltage so this is forward bias next we will go for reverse bias just to minimize all the voltages and switch it off and interchange this diode and plug it back switch it on now repeat the same procedure how we have done for the forward bias increase this voltage you say 0.1 or 0.2 0.3 and 1 2 see there are two tabs one is for small increment of voltage and this is high increments 
So here if you use this, we can increase voltage across this zener diode, 1 volt, 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts. So, so 3 volt, 1 volts, 2 volts, 3 volts, and 4 volts, 5 volts, and 6 volts, 7 volts, 8, 9, 10, 11, so till 11 point 65 we are not getting any current and 11 point 7 also we are not getting current you know what is the reason so in reverse bias so it offers more resistance and once it reaches to certain voltage the current will increase rapidly exponentially so so till 11.7 we didn't get any value for 11.72 we are getting 0.4 we just increase 0.7 increase to 11.74 see it is raised to 1.9 so if you keep on increasing these voltages so there is exponential growth in current right that can be observed if you plot a graph between voltage and current in tabular column if you plot a graph between voltage and current initially we won't get any current till 11 so once it is reached to certain voltage the current exponentially increases if we draw the line to that curve it meets voltage axis at certain voltage that voltage we call it as a breakdown voltage or you can call it as a zener voltage based on this property this zener diode has been used as a voltage regulator